Future hustlers, entrepreneurs, and money makers, are you tired of the boring side hustles that earn you just about enough money to buy a cup of coffee? Or have you gotten tired of working that nine to five job where they don't appreciate your skills or your talents? Are you ready, my rock stars, to unlock the secrets of the side hustle world? Because today, in this video, I'm gonna reveal several side hustles that not many people are doing but you my rock stars can definitely do and these side hustles they'll make you some serious coin some serious dough some serious moolah some serious cheddar and when I say serious my rock stars I'm not talking about the kind of side hustle that stops you from eating ramen noodles every night nor am I referring to the pathetic money that you typically earn from many side hustles that will allow you to upgrade from instant coffee to the fancy stuff or from the generic brand cereal to the good stuff or even from plain water to sparkling hell no my rock stars by serious my rock stars I'm talking about the type of moolah cheddar coins that will upgrade you from the Toyota Corolla to the BMW or the Mercedes from wearing professional attire every day to t-shirt and sneakers because guess what you do not need your nine-to-five job anymore the kind of moolah that will allow you to change your address to a place where your neighbors are the people you see on TV or the kind of coin where you can upgrade from your good girlfriend to a hot gold digger now my rock stars you know I'm just kidding right but let's get serious these seven side hustles that I'm about to share with you today they have the potential to make 750 US dollars per day and nobody is talking about these side hustles in 2023 for the most part so that said my rock stars sit back relax and get ready to not turn your spear time into spear change uh -uh, but to turn your free time into financial freedom money 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 are you ready for this? Remember my rock stars that there are scammers in the comments. They're gonna be using my photograph. They're gonna be asking you to WhatsApp them, to email them, to telegram them or telegraph, whatever the term is, it's not me. Please be careful, ignore and report. That said, class is now in session. Now the first side hustle I'm going to talk about is to help people shop on Curated.com. Curated makes it possible for avid sports and outdoor hobbyists to make extra money by helping shoppers with customized gear and product recommendations from cycling to boating to golfing and more. Now of course if this is something that you participate in it will definitely give you an edge but it's certainly not required. Required. When you help people to shop on Curated, you're providing personalized recommendations and some amount of guidance to them selecting specific products that will align with their preference, as an example, their needs, and also their values. What this does is it actually helps shoppers to save a ton of time because they have an expert providing guidance, and as such, the shopper will make more informed buying decisions. What's great about a shopper using your services on Curated is that through your recommendation, they'll be able to discover new and interesting products that they probably wouldn't have come across if they were shopping on their own. Now, all you have to do to sign up to start providing services on Curated is to go to curated.com slash apply, complete an application, and whenever these customers make a purchase, you earn a commission from their purchase. And as a bonus, my rock stars, 
80% of the customers that use Curated, they actually leave a tip and you'll get to keep 100% of the tip that they're leaving for the services that you have provided. Now remember, this is not you going out there and finding customers, no. These customers are already coming to Curated and you're just guiding their purchasing decisions. And here's the amazing thing, my rock stars. This side hustle that nobody's talking about or most people aren't doing will average you anywhere from 2,000 US dollars to as much as 5,000 US dollars per month and guess what the higher earning side hustles are to come so make sure you stay tuned but you know what my rock stars if you appreciate the kind of research that I have to invest into these videos to bring you these unusual side hustles I'm gonna ask you to do me two favors could you like the video and could you also write side hustle 2023 in the comments I would really appreciate it that said let's move to the second side hustle that nobody's talking about or that most people aren't doing but everybody for the most part can do and it is to start a pet sitting business and hear me out my rock stars don't jump to the oh but i don't love pets or or i don't have any space to babysit pets wait to hear the full business potential of this opportunity and remember that excuses will get you nowhere all it does is eliminate potential opportunities that just with a little bit more thought process you could have possibly figured out a way to make it work now you can do this from two perspectives you can either work as a pet sitter where you take on the occasional pet and you get paid an hourly rate or you can start a business where you're pet sitting and as such you have the capacity or the ability to sit multiple pets and even have employees sitting pets on your behalf there's a ton of money to be made here my rock stars so make sure you listen and even our family we occasionally have the need for a pet sitter and we live in Jamaica so this is a side hustle that can be done anywhere from across the world especially where people love their pets as per pay scale you'll earn about $12.50 per hour now will that make a difference in you paying a bill if you're able to do five hours per day of course because that's six dollars per day and close to 2,000 US dollars per month but that's not where the money is my rock stars because a full-time pet sitter will earn anywhere from 20,000 to 50,000 US dollars per year and of course this is contingent on the number of clients that they have and the number of services that they offer remember as a pet sitter you can get into things like grooming the dog walking the dog those are additional services that you can charge for if it's a bird you can get into cleaning the bird cages and again charging for that and building out on your side hustle income opportunity because now you'll be diversifying what I like about the pet sitting business is it's not limited to dogs cats birds and the obvious we have four koi ponds in our yard and as an example let's say we're going to watch the Olympics in Paris which could be a two weeks trip we're going to need someone to feed our koi to tend to them and to make sure they're okay dogs birds or whatever your pet of choice is will also need attention because people who typically have pets they treat them sometimes like children so they're willing to pay to ensure that they're cared for and a lot of professionals out there even in Jamaica are paying for you to walk their dogs I see this so I know so this is why I want you to look at starting a pet sitting pet care kind of business you do not need to be a veterinarian nor do you need to be trained in that regard start with walking the pets or pet sitting and create a space in your home whether you're gonna empty out your garage and start parking outside so that you're gonna set up that pet sitting place in your garage or if you have the kind of house where you can have pets on the inside you turn your house into a pet sitting business and you 
your objective is to handle at least 10 pets at any one point in time and at the average rate of 75 US dollars, which is what a lot of people charge per day to sit a pet with 10 pets, your potential is 750 US dollars. And of course, if you have five pets, it's 300 and odd dollars per day. And even if you're only charging $30 per day, it's still over 250 US dollars per day with 10 pets. So your potential is to earn as much as 20 odd thousand US dollars per month or as little as 5,000 US dollars per month pet sitting, grooming, pet walking or just petting the pet for God's sakes. The bottom line is this is a lucrative income earning opportunity that many people aren't doing and definitely many people aren't talking about as a side hustle. Now this third side hustle does not work the same way everywhere because as an example the equivalent of this person in Jamaica and in a lot of countries they are not allowed to charge but this side hustle that many people aren't talking about or even doing is that of becoming a notary and yes you'll need to have some qualification as per what I put in chat GPT it's saying that you need to have certain eligibility requirements which includes completing a notary education course passing an exam and obtaining a notary bond and commission you don't need to be a rocket scientist to become a notary. For that matter, you don't need any significant qualification, definitely not college or university, or even high school for that matter, if you can pass these exams and complete the course. So any of you, my rock stars, living in a country where notaries actually get paid for their services, can take this on and earn a lucrative income from this side hustle. Now, notary services, depending on where you live, they typically run anywhere from a dollar to as much as $30. So if we were to use $15 as an average for services and the services that you'll provide, they're mostly pretty basic. It could be you validating a signature, confirming that someone is who they say they are on a photograph, or it could be validating a proof of address. It could also be something as complex as writing a recommendation, which is a lot more expensive and will obviously take more time but the average service will take probably about five to ten minutes which means that you can do about 12 tasks per hour if you're really pushing it which is 96 per day now that's the extreme my rock stars but just to put things into perspective if you were to do notary services full-time and you had that kind of volume you would make about 180 US dollars per Per hour or $36,000 in a month if you were to provide notary services over 25 days. But let's be conservative because we have to remember we're talking about side hustles here. So you're going to do this when you have free time. So let's assume you are able to, instead of doing 96 tasks, you can do half of that. You'll be making about 720 US dollars per day as a notary. And conservatively, if you're only doing 10 tasks in a day that's averaging about $15 that's 150 US dollars per day which works out to about $4,500 per month if you decide to offer these services over the course of a month. Now the next side hustle that we're going to cover today is to rent out your parking space. Yes my rock stars there's good money to be made by just popping up your parking space on a website if you live in Europe or even the US and you have the potential to make anywhere from 200 pounds or even 2,000 euros per year. You know what I like about this side hustle? It doesn't pay you a ton of money, but you do absolutely nothing. You may have a parking space. It may be in a busy community in the city or even in a semi-busy community. And companies may be looking to use that space for their employees or in general, organizations may have a need for an extra parking space. On Park PNP, many people are earning upwards of 200 pounds 
per month for renting out a single car space. And in other cases, as you see here, over 2,000 euros per year for doing exactly that. Can you imagine my rock stars if you can get access to a few car spaces? Here's what I would do. I would go and explore and find parking lots that I can rent and then I would list them on Park PNP or Daft and then sublet them, collect that money, pay what I owe and then keep the surplus as a profit. You don't need to have a parking space to make money with this particular side hustle. Now the fifth side hustle is to build what is referred to as a subscription box and in doing so start a successful subscription box business. I don't even know if this is a side hustle because quite frankly I know people who are doing this as a full-fledged business and having a lot of success. What I like about the subscription box business my rock stars is the fact that it's residual income because every month or every week depending on the frequency of the customer's need you are able to send out this subscription box and they're paying you this money residually in the same way your bills come in residually whether you want to get those bills or not you will be able to earn this money monthly or weekly residually as long as you're sending out those boxes to customers what exactly is a subscription box because i know some of you don't know as per chat gpt a subscription box is a service that delivers a box of curated products to subscribers on a regular basis. It's typically monthly, but like I said earlier, you do have subscription boxes that are delivered weekly, and these boxes can contain any variety of items such as snacks, books, toys, or even beauty products, to name a few. Now, let me tell you what my ideal subscription box, if I were to venture into this business, would be. There are a ton of snacks out there that I used when I lost, like, I think I lost about 20 pounds in one month when I tried that low-carb diet for a while, but I didn't stick to it because I'm never willing to sacrifice my fruits and my vegetables. But if you know people who are into low-carb dieting or keto dieting or people who want to lose weight you can create a subscription box that you send to them every single month with low carb or keto snacks or food items so that they don't have to cheat on the snacks that they're not supposed to eat my rock stars i know this subscription box would do well now in my low carb or keto subscription box or my diet box i would include lightly so salted almonds as you see here on screen. I would include dark chocolate which by the way I eat this dark chocolate and for the most part it's pretty natural but it's a great replacement for regular chocolate. These ones in particular they're exceptionally tasty. You don't even feel like you're eating diet food for that matter. So I buy these things and I do recommend them to people who buy them a lot which is why I know they would do well in a subscription box. Let's Let's continue. I would do this strawberry low sugar jam. I would do this keto bread. I'd send a loaf of it in the subscription box. I would also do these low carb cookies, which are exceptional keto cookies for that matter. Probably one of the things I miss with this keto diet. And I would also do this banana caramel keto cake mix, which is also exceptional. Now, of course, if my customer is into a protein shake, I would add the GNC vanilla shake, which I drink, and anything else that will complement this box. So what it means is that every single month, I would pack this box and send it to customers who are on a keto diet, a low carb diet, or customers who just want to reduce the amount of sugar that they're consuming, whether it's because they're diabetic or just because they're trying to avoid sugar. I also have this lemonade that I buy. All you do is add water and it's one of the tastiest lemonades you will ever have that has no sugar in it. 
Now you then find a platform like createjoy.com, which is a platform where you can sign up and sell subscription boxes to customers across the globe. Now here's the calculator that I'm pulling from createjoy.com that will show you exactly what your profits will be if you're sending a subscription box, depending on what you're putting into it. Now the average subscription box will cost about $35 to the customer or the end user and from that you'll make a profit of about 14 US dollars per subscription box that you're sending out. So if you're able to send 300 of those subscription boxes, regardless of what you're putting into it, that's valued at around $35, you will make 4,300 US dollars per month sending out the average subscription box that costs the customer about 35 US dollars. If you're selling out my subscription box that I would buy from you with the key to the low carb or the low sugar products and the products that you're putting in that subscription box works out to about a hundred US dollars per month by the time the other costs are incurred to send out these subscription boxes monthly you're gonna gross in profit about 73 US dollars shipping out this diet snack and food boxes to your customers and at 300 boxes being shipped out per month to customers like Odetta who are buying these low carb keto or diet products, you are gonna earn in gross profit 22,000 US dollars per month. That equates to you earning over 700 US dollars per day in your subscription box business. And the next side hustle on the list today is to join Rent a Friend, literally, rentafriend.com is where you can go to rent a friend. When you go to rent a friend as a side hustle, it allows you to set a rental rate for your friendship. And my rock stars, this is nothing dirty or nothing smutty. So take your mind out of the gutter, all right? When you become a friend on rent a friend, somebody will be able to rent your services to be a plus one. As an example, if they're going to a wedding or any kind of social event for that matter and they don't have a companion to go with or even just to hang out with around town depending on what their objectives are. Now there's a security factor to be considered. You need to do your homework and by putting it on a website like Rent a Friend, that's not enough because you never know who that friend is that you're gonna rent on Rent a Friend. However, if you are the person renting your services as a friend just be the best friend you can be to that person and respect their boundaries but you also need to be careful that whoever is renting your services on rentafriend.com is not going to put you in danger all you have to do is to go to rent a friend create a profile there and with this profile they'll ask you to provide information about your personal interest your abilities and of course you need to tell them what the rate is that you're going to charge for your your friendship and the minute your profile goes live you'll start getting requests from people who would like to rent you as a friend now the rate that you're able to charge on rent a friend it varies from 10 to 50 US dollars per hour. But remember, you are the one who decides that rate. If you become very popular on rentafriend.com and people are referring you to other people as a good companion or somebody good to hang out with while shopping or even somebody who can video you. Let's say I have a YouTube channel. I'd probably rent a friend to come with me and video me as I go along instead of paying a professional video recorder or what do you call them videographer because they're gonna be a lot more expensive so I don't want you to look down on this because a friend can do many things for somebody else other than the obvious so if you're able to put your services out there and let's say for example on a Saturday you are off 
from your full-time job and you spend six hours with three different friends from rent a friend that's a hundred dollar per friend and that's three hundred dollars in one day and if you do this saturdays and sundays that's six hundred dollars which works out to close to three thousand us dollars per month renting your services as a friend just on the weekends now this last side hustle anybody can do it as long as you have a motor vehicle and it can be done from many countries across the globe and it is to sell advertising space on your vehicle whether you you're wrapping your vehicle with the brand that you're advertising or you're putting a sticker here and there. The point is you can turn your vehicle, which is typically a liability, into a money-making machine by renting advertising space with it. If you live in a highly populated area where there's a lot of foot traffic or mobile traffic, it means that there are going to be more eyes on your motor vehicle and it means that the probability of whatever it is that you're advertising that organization will be able to reach their objectives which is usually to reach and convert customers then your vehicle and you are ideal for this particular side hustle that many people aren't doing today there are companies out there like rapify.com or carvetize of course it's coming from advertise carvetize where you can list your vehicle as a means for brands to advertise and get paid for doing so typically a driver can expect to earn anywhere from 250 to 1300 us dollars per month on any given ad campaign when they're advertising with their vehicle and if you decide to fully wrap your vehicle you can earn anywhere from 264 us dollars to 452 dollars per month according to rapify and you know what i like about this side hustle my rock stars our cars for the most part is a liability because it's costing us money and while some people will tell you it's an asset it's not in my book how about getting this amazing opportunity to still drive it but also to make some money to possibly pay off that loan that you have or to cover some of the expenses that you are incurring for this vehicle by not doing anything new or different. An amazing side hustle it is. That's the end of these side hustles that most people aren't doing, that you, my rock stars, for the most part, can do and make upwards of 750 US dollars per day in some instances. Again, I hope you learned something new. If there are any side hustles here that I shared that you are not aware of, you can just write one of them in the comments. So at least I know that this video provided some value. Thanks as always for watching and until next time, walk good.